guys. Um, if you tuned into the last video, you guys know ADCC Trials Camp is starting, and uh, I'm just gonna give you guys a full walk through the day, full training day, um, kind of vlog. Start off with some breakfast. Um, Nicole has been treating me great, my nutritionist. Uh, the meals have been outstanding, and it's been super easy to gain weight and uh, any weight cuts that I need as well. So uh, hit her up if you guys are interested in getting a nutritionist or even just following her on Instagram to support her, and she posts a lot of really good content on there. But um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to finish this breakfast, I'm going to get started, and then we're going to head to the gym, we're going to hit some nogi class and get some rounds in. Shoulders feeling great, rolled yesterday, and uh, it was perfect, couldn't really feel anything at all, was kind of trying to protect it a little bit, but um, feeling great and ready to get some hard training in for the trials. All right, here's a highlight of one of my favorite training partners, Brock. I like training with Brock because he's young, he competes a lot, and we're basically the same size. He's real technical, he doesn't really rely too much on like strength even though he is really strong. He's good about using his technique, so I love getting rounds with him. You can see me here on top working some guard passing, looking to set up my arm triangle here with the half guard position. So I need to free my leg, so you'll notice me start to use my right leg to pummel on top of his, his quad there and do a little staple. That way I can take my leg out of the half guard and force to the other side and get that arm triangle finish. See a lot of my passing style lately, this, this misdirection, changing sides here on my feet, working around the outside. Um, Andrew's done this for years. I was always more of like a body lock passer, but i um, starting to develop this part of my game through training with people like my brother Andrew, Cody Steele obviously, and Isaac Michelle even. So really been fun developing, developing that part of my passing game. Here's a back take I've been working from Neon Belly. When my opponent starts to turn away, and then I set up that gift wrap, and then I use it to lock up this reverse triangle, this triangle from the back here. You'll notice I get the finish pretty early. It's a super tight submission, if not the tightest in my opinion. I've been using this Kimura from Top Turtle to turn my partner over and get a quick finish rather than hunting the back. Now holding the head like this, controlling the wrist and changing sides to pass, has been something that I have used really recent in some of my matches. You can go back and watch my match against Owen O'Flanagan, that's actually on my channel. I have a breakdown of it. I use this passing to pass his guard several times, which I haven't really seen his guard get passed in recent competition, so it's definitely something that is working and not a lot of people are using so that he wasn't able to see it coming. Uh, it's something that I use a ton and I've been really perfecting in the gym against people like Brock and other people that have great guards and it's been a lot of fun. Now here's another look at an arm triangle. Notice me ratcheting down his shoulder, trying to use my head into the back of his armpit and shoulder, driving that into his neck and my, sh my shoulder on the other side to finish. Now here's another one of my training partners, Joe Spizak. He's a Division One, former Division One wrestler. Um, he doesn't wrestle anymore, but he trains with us and you can tell he moves well. Here's some nice feints to get into the front headlock and then dumps me over the top. He's got a really nice bridge there on his head and is able to run to my back. I tried to hit a switch, it was definitely too far from his leg to make that work. So I'm just trying to settle in this four point and prevent him from scoring. Now in wrestling, yeah, this would be score, but ADCC rules are a little bit different. You got a secure position and the turtle or full point does not count for points. So I'm just trying to stay safe. I get my legs behind his hips and I try to roll him through, but he was able to switch his grip and kind of keep me flat. Enough for me to work back to my feet and get free. And we get into some more fun scrambles here. Me utilizing some of my favorites is that double underhooks to a nice mat return where I was able to pull him onto his back. Looking to chase the back here by inserting my hooks and looking for that body triangle. I'm always looking for the body triangle over the hooks. I feel like it's a much stronger form of control. If you can't lock the body triangle, try to reach your, your leg deeper or even work on getting more flexible. Those are some things that I find that really help me is working to get my leg deep, but then also just stretching constantly. So I was able to hit a guillotine there and then now we're working back to our feet. A little slow on that shot for me as he was circling out. Um, pretty bad time, he got stuck in this front headlock and he'll make you pay for it, that's for sure. So I'm really trying to get out of there, posting the hip and clearing the elbow, working some feints to hit a shot, but I hit my knees and I stayed on my knees, a habit that I'm trying to break. 
I uh, wasn't able to pop right back up to my feet to finish, but we got in a little exchange here where I was able to limp arm out and then put him down on his back. I do have a significant size advantage against Joe, so it's really impressive. He can really hang with me and put me down quite often. Um, hit a little arm drag there off of the down block and turning it into as much of a jujitsu y position as I can so that I have the advantage rather than um, kind of making it a wrestling position where he has quite a bit of an advantage. So here I'm able to use that single leg to kind of set up a crucifix into like this reverse triangle and look for a wrist lock. What is up guys? I just made it back. I'm gonna shower up using my arm bar soap. Help get rid of all of that staff, ringworm, all that stuff that grows on us as we are on the mask 24 seven. And then I'm gonna make myself some lunch and uh, rest up. That right there is bomb. Look at that. Man, I've been loving that kimchi sauce. I've been putting it on my rice pretty much every single day this week. Ran out of the bottle super quick. Definitely recommend. Just finished up eating. That was fire. Been chilling on the couch and it is training time again. So let's get it.
fun night of training that was. Um, fun day of training, really, in general. Only thing I would have add to, added to it to make it better would have been a lift, but um, wasn't able to hit a lift. I'm down to one vehicle right now. My truck is getting worked on right now. Um, the bearings are completely blown. I didn't even realize that they uh, needed to be changed so soon. So um, the wheels were literally about to fall off. <laughs> so uh, I was driving the other day and my dad was like, hey, we need to order these parts and uh, get it worked on like ASAP. So we're gonna get that done this weekend. And then I'll be back to having my own vehicle. But for now, I'm just gonna be kind of like tagging along with, with my lady Jazz. And uh, that will make things a lot easier, but I uh, wasn't able to hit the lift today because didn't have uh, enough time on her side to help drive me there. But so now I'm just pretty much resting up, refueling, rehydrating. Um, got my my lights from Ath Organics. This stuff is amazing. Um, please check them out. I got a discount code that I'll put in the description, but I also put it here on the screen. Just tack it 10. Um, thanks guys for supporting as always. So uh, that helps support me if you guys buy these amazing electrolyte packets. Um, I'm making some dinner now. Just gonna be doing some taco bowls tonight. Um, nice and simple, cause it's pretty late. We'll be cooking up some beef, some rice, throwing some vegetables and some sauce on that and gonna shove it down my face. All right guys, there's a the finished product. I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the uh, next YouTube vlog that we do. So um, yeah, thank you guys. Wish me luck for this Charles camp. It's gonna be a sick camp and I'm really excited to get out there and try to take that gold medal home at the ADCC West Coast Trials in March on the 30th. Let's get it guys.